Hey everybody, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the auto text tag feature in Layout 2014. Now what this feature does is it allows you to use these preset tags to insert special values that are pre-configured ahead of time. So we have these uh, a number of date values that you can work with uh, as well as the file name, the page name, the page number and you can also create custom auto text tags as well for any text information that you want. So let's take a look at the page number text tag. So the way you used to have to work with page numbers before was you would have to manually type in the page number so that would mean going through every single page in your document and manually changing the text to display whichever page number it was. And that was really cumbersome and it took a lot of time because if you inserted more pages or swap pages around, you'd have to go and manually change that. So now instead, all you have to do is use this special auto text tag. So you just type in this special symbol, the kind of sideways caret symbol, and you type in page number and then enclose it with this other caret. And when you escape the text box, it'll automatically convert to the page number. Now the thing that's really cool is you don't even have to copy and paste this tag onto every page. As long as you place that text box on a shared layer, as you can see here, I have my title block layer that's shared. So what that means is everything that's on this layer will actually repeat on every single page in the document. So as you can see earlier, um, each page in this document actually shows the page number. And if I double click on this text box, you'll see that it's actually the auto text tag um, right here. So to see all the auto text tags in your document or to edit or add new ones, you just go to file and document setup and you click the auto text tab right here and you can see the list of all the auto text tags available in the document now to add a new one you just click the plus sign and select custom text and then you have to um, tell it what what you want to call the tag so um, we'll call this one job number now just remember that the tags are case sensitive so you have to make sure you type it in exactly as it's seen here and also every every auto text tag will always start and end with these little caret uh, symbols. If you forget to put them in it's okay it'll automatically place them in there. And then you just place um, whatever custom text you want to appear whenever that auto text tag is used so um, I'll just make up a number here. Uh, MS 14 1 2 3 4 so you can see that that updated and we'll go ahead and close that and then to insert an auto text tag you just use the text tool so you can click this button up here or you can tap T on your keyboard you click once to start and then you just type in the auto text tag that you want to use. So I'm going to use the one that we just created. I'll press escape and you can see it automatically changes to the value that we preset ahead of time. Now some of the other types of auto text tags have to do with various dates. So this tag right here actually uses the current date. And another thing to keep in mind is you, you can incorporate other text within um, you know include other text in the same text box that you have auto text tags in as well so you don't just have to have an auto text tag you can combine it with other characters or symbols as well so you can see here I'm using the current date auto text tag and I don't really like the, the way this is formatted I don't want it to read out the entire name of the month so what I'll do is I'll just go back to File, Document Setup, and I'll find the current date um, auto text tag. 
And because it's a, uh, a date tag, um, it allows me to change the format of the date. So you can click this plus sign and it'll show you all the, the various um, abbreviations that you can use to display different, um, different formats of dates. So instead of the uh, 4M abbreviation, which will display the name of the month, I want to actually use uh, double M abbreviation to just show the number of the month. So I'll just go ahead and delete that. And you can see the preview shows up here in real time. So that helps me kind of construct the, um, the format that I want. So I'm just going to put a hyphen in there and then another hyphen afterwards. And I want to do a two digit year. So I'll use the double Y. So I'll just delete that. And you can see that the um, preview shows up here, but then also the auto text tag automatically updates in real time as well. There are, are There's a few other date auto text tags that are included in layout and that's uh, date created. So that'll show you the date that that file was created. Um, the last date it was modified and the date it was published. Now published means that it was exported as a PDF or other type of uh, file. And you can see I haven't published this one yet, so it's just showing unpublished. The file name, and that gives you the option to either display the full file path, or um, you can also display the file extension at the end. Uh, the job number, that's the, the custom text tag we, we just set up previously. The page number, uh, I'm sorry, the page name will show you the whatever text that you have displayed here in the pages panel um, will be displayed wherever that auto text tag is um, is inserted in your document and then lastly page number auto text tag uh, gives you a few different styles for formatting it um, the first one is the style that gives you a, a few different options here on how it is displayed and you also can define which number to start the tag at. So if you want to start it at number one or start it at number 10, it's totally up to you. And also the page that the numbering starts from, you can change that as well. Now you're not limited to only one um, type of page number, auto text, or any other um, type of auto text. You can make um, a number of different auto text tags, as many as you like actually. So if you have different numbering schemes that you use throughout the same project, this will, this will allow you to um, configure it the way you need it. So auto text tags are great for um, information that you are going to display multiple times throughout your document. That way you only have, instead of going through every single page, navigating to the correct uh, layer, um, unlocking the layer, double clicking on something to edit it, um, going through all those steps and finding, making sure that you've you've actually edited every single instance of it. Um, you can just use auto text tags, place those throughout your document, and then you just have one source to edit that information. But that's not the only benefit for using auto text tags. So even if there's just one place um, that you have certain information, for instance, um, this would be my company information, but let's say you had um, job information. So the project name, project address, um, and the, the job number, for instance, or you might also have customer information. It's actually a good idea to use auto text tags for those situations because instead of having to go through and edit those you can just use this as a checklist for each job so when you create a new job you just go over to this window and you update the address for that particular customer so you just type in the information and it'll automatically update um, throughout your throughout your document if you found this video helpful Go to SketchUpToLayout.com to view my free webinar on the process of creating SketchUp models specifically for layout. 
I recorded this webinar during my book launch, SketchUp to Layout. And you can purchase it on that page as well. There's a few different packages, including a $99 video pre-order for a video course that I'll be releasing in the spring of 2014.